In my role as Director of Simulation for Oklahoma State University's Center for Health Sciences, I get the awesome opportunity to work with our faculty, both at the medical school and within our residency programs, to really develop effective curriculum so that our students and residents can experience those, those things that they may not get to experience as early on in their career, and they're experiencing these things earlier than ever before, because they were able to do it in a simulated environment that's, that's safe. So we have some amazing resources here at our simulation center. We have a, a simulated emergency room, and through our emergency room, we actually even have a, an ambulance bay. So we can have an ambulance that comes in, we can simulate a, an emergency situation where they come in on a stretcher, even using IMSA personnel, they can come in and experience an emergency situation in a very extremely lifelike environment where they have the lights and the sounds they're gonna be experiencing in the live ER, but in a simulation safe environment. If you're interested in doing OB-GYN, our OB simulation suite is second to none. You have a Sims mom that can give all kinds of different scenarios, including having a seizure during birth, having a placenta abrupta. You can take the baby after you deliver the baby onto a warming table where if the baby has problems, you can practice as you would if you were a pediatrician or a neonatologist. We have a newbie and a Tory mannequin, and those are actually going to simulate that newborn baby coming out. We can even do an APGAR test on these, so, so we are able to have nurses even from NICUs come and do different skills checks in those environments. We also have a simulated operation room. We have had opportunities where we can come in and utilize even our, our high technology cut suit that where they can actually simulate different pathology on different organs as they're going through and doing surgery. We also have a virtual reality laparoscopic simulation. We have virtual reality GI and bronchoscope. We also have a virtual reality robotic surgical system. Just that cutting edge, exciting resources that they're gonna be able to, to come in and experience experience before they would ever have an opportunity to do so in an actual operating room. If you would come in to see this from the outside, you would think they're getting ready to do active surgery in there. It is identical to our surgical suites in our hospital, with the exception that we do not have the gases that we use in a hospital setting. One of the amazing features of our simulation center is how it can really enhance and promote patient safety for our patients, both in the clinical environment and in the hospital setting. Our residents and students are able to come in and experience procedures and complications in numerous settings and that they would never be able to experience beforehand without having it be on a live patient. These mannequins can do, I'll paraphrase Dr. Shrum, can do everything that a person can do except walk out the room. You can do chest tubes. There are things that sometimes students never get the opportunity to do when they're out on clinical rotations and the first time you want to put a chest tube in you don't want it to be on a patient who actually needs one at that time. So our students and residents in that capacity are able to come in and experience complications and procedures before they would ever be able to see it out in the field.